right all welcome back to Beanie's Hobbies and in this video we have yet another printer review now this printer here is the Two Trees Bluer Plus So we have a build plate size on this printer of 300 by 300 by 400. Now I've had this printer for a couple of weeks, been playing around with it, running off some test prints and so far I've been getting on really really well with it. I've not had any issues, um, nothing's broken, I wasn't holding up too much hope for this. Um, this printer but I was actually blown away by how good it was. Now we'll start off as we always do here on Beanie Hobbies by having a look at a few of the test prints then we'll take a closer look around the printer go over a few of its features and that'll be it for this review. So let's get straight into this by starting off by looking at some of the test prints. Now the first print we have is Elsa from Frozen now this print was already on the guest e card that came with the printer so I thought I'd just rattle it off and you see it didn't come out too bad I mean it wasn't the best quality print in the world I would say it's pretty acceptable though And it is obviously completely hollow. Yeah, so that one didn't come out too bad. Second up, the old classic vase. And as you can see here from the print quality, absolutely fantastic. Had no issues at all with this. And then I don't know if there's any of you out there that can remember the Goonies, but oh, I just had to rattle this off. So we have got the Goonies name badge. Good, really good, clean print. And then we printed off this display rock. That holds the coin and the copper bones. As you can see there, this came out incredibly well. Nice clean print. So then obviously we have the coin. Now, I thought this was going to be quite tricky to print, but believe it or not, I actually printed it. Standing up right on its corner on a raft. <laughs> that came out perfectly. Also, these are all pre paint. As you can see, this is where the raft was attached to it. Literally just printed it standing up. Thought that would give the printer a good test. Nothing came unstuck off the bed. And as you can see, that came out absolutely. Perfect. And last of all, we have the copper bones. Also, came out incredibly well. Really clean, smart prints. And obviously, once you assemble the piece, 
and they all sort of sit in their own little parts. I'm trying not to knock the camera too much. So it ends up looking a little bit like that. So that's the test prints anyway. So the next thing now we'll have a little look around the printer. I think guys can then check out the quality of the actual machine itself. We'll have a look at all the features as well. So to start off with we do have spring steel sheet build plate. It's got this sort of really, well, it's, it's flat, it's smooth. It's like sort of a rubbery, sticky, textured build surface. It's not textured, sorry, but it's sort of a rubbery sort of stickiness to it. I've had nothing come unstuck off it at all whatsoever. Also, when the print's finished, take it off and just pop it off and that'll pop straight off. You can also see there, got bluer plus and a whale. Now we've got a 4.3 inch colour touch screen, which is down here. Let's just fire the printer up. And just take you off the tripod. So we have all the basic settings that you would need, so we can preheat. Uh, this does have auto bed levelling, which we'll show you shortly. Um, just the usual bog standard settings. And we've got more settings. This machine has got built in Wi Fi so you can send your prints wirelessly from your computer. And obviously, printing as well to run off your test prints. Now, we do have pre installed auto bed levelling which is obviously situated up here under the hot end so let's say we do have the auto bed levelling we do have oh, get around the back dual Z lead screws which are tethered together at the top here so you have no worries about gantry ever not being level to the bed we don't have any eccentric nuts on this but these do tighten themselves the wheel has got a spring there's a spring inside this carrier so these wheels will pre-tension themselves so you don't have to worry about adjusting adjusting that at all there are eccentric nuts to adjust and or tighten up the bed. We also have full leveling nuts as well on each corner. Nice decent size so you can get hold of them. We do also have filament runout detector and we do have a dual drive extruder which is see-through so you can actually see the thrift filament passing through it. Now these guys connection cable wise, let me just flick this off. Now before they make the connections on this printer they have actually gone for network cables. I've never had a printer that uses network cables but they seem to work just fine. They're a flat cable just connected in down the board at the bottom. Then straight up here in the hot end, where the hot end is. Now we do have metal construction all around. Everything is all metal. Obviously apart from the extruder. Filament detectors metal. Hot ends all metal. All the frameworks metal. Spool, spool holders metal. So it is a very solid, sturdy, well built machine. Now over here on the side of the printer we do have a USB port and we also have the micro SD card. Now on the other side at the back of the printer we obviously have power in and you're on off switch. Now we do have an adjustment knob for tightening the belt. 
there is no adjustment knob for the bed but you do have a screw here which you can tighten or slacken off to adjust the tension on the belt for the bed so in general this is a very very good printer it's silent printer there's not hardly any noise coming from this machine at all whatsoever a little bit of noise coming from obviously the cooling fan on the hot end but apart from that this machine is very very quiet now we'll just quickly show you that this machine does actually have auto bed leveling So it's quite easy to set up and level the bed. You don't need to level your four corners, just adjust your screws. It's relatively level by eye. And then obviously then the machine will then do the rest. I'll then go around and probe the bed. Now, while I've just probed the bed, I will happen to mention there are no, um, there's no settings to this printer in Cura, but all I have done is I've set this up. I used the Corality CR10 um, setting, then obviously then just slightly tweaked that for this printer. And all you need to obviously do is, after your G28 start code, you just want to enter your G29 code, so that'll then level the bed every time before you start your print. Or you can obviously leave that out, and once your bed's level, it's then level. So once it's gone around and homed, it will then come up and tell you, well basically all it's telling you there is to place your piece of paper underneath the nozzle to set your Z offset. And obviously once you've got your Z, your Z offset set, you just click finish, bed is level and you're ready to go. That is it, that's simple. You can obviously independently move all your axes, you've got a button here so you can adjust it by 1mm, 10mm or 0.1mm. It's a very, very good, very, very good printer, I'm very pleased with it. So if anybody's got any questions or they want to know anything else about this printer, drop a comment down below. I'll help you the best I can. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this of some use. If you were contemplating the Two Trees Blue or Plus, I get a big thumbs up. Not had any faults, any concerns with this printer at all whatsoever. Anyway, guys, that's it for me for now for waffling on, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheerio!